guys, welcome to Tupike. I'll be your chef today, Chef Spira, um, from Nairobi Street Kitchen, precisely the Siloko, we are going to do Indian cuisine. So today we are going to do kathi roll. Uh, like you've seen, we have different ingredients. Uh, we have pani cheese, we have masala sauce, we have tamari, uh, tamari chutney. Uh, we are going to make some beautiful kachumbari in-house. So uh, we'll start with making the kachumbari. So we'll start with our onion. Nicely chopped. We need to have good dices. Then we can put them aside. We'll go with the coriander. Also remember guys, uh, the secret of coriander, if you have baby one like this, and you have the stock, that is where the flavors lies, yeah? And the texture. So we'll start with the stock, nicely, 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 nicely chopped, nicely chopped. And again, after the coriander, it depends if you are a chill, chili lovers, somebody who loves spices, you can add some green chili. Remember, you can also omit if you have a guest or a friend who doesn't take chili, and you can just chop and put them aside. Just nicely chopped. And then lastly, our tomatoes. So we remove the heart. We remove the heart so that our uh, kachumbari won't be soggy. And at least it can stay for long. But as well, you can also add the heart. Once you remove them, you can use them in making any tomato-based sauce like uh, what we've used to make uh, our masala sauce in-house. You need to get nicely brownies, cuts. So we start with this. So once we are done, so we mix all our ingredients together after chopping them. Remember, don't put too, put too, too much onion so that it doesn't become tangy. Our freshly chopped coriander and a little bit of some green chili. So we finish up with a pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper, then nicely mix together. Nice and fresh. If you want to make it more a little bit uh, citrus, you can add some little bit of lime juice. Or even some olive oil. Yeah. But today we are just doing a fine, fresh, normal kachumbari. Or you can call it pico de gallo. So our next mise en place item will take our leeks. Nicely, so we cut them nicely. Julienne. Do not taste this again. So, so we collect our julienne leeks. Just put them in a bowl. 
just like that. Then last but not least, we have uh, this is panichis. Very Indian, you just try to uh, cut them into nicely small cubes. Then again, we put them inside a small bowl, just like that. So almost, we are ready. We are ready to start. Uh, we have our kachumbari, we have our eggs, we have our, our cubed paneer cheese, we have our, our homemade masala sauce, then we have our chapati, uh, we have baby spinach, you can also use, if you cannot be able to get baby spinach, you can use whole spinach as well. Uh, we have dal, yeah, uh, nicely cooked. Uh, and then we have butter. So everything is in place. Now we can start on a medium heat. On a non-stick pan. We just let it to sit for a while. So that it can be hot. Then now we start with our butter. A quarter of a teaspoon. Then we put our pani cheese, the cubed ones. So you can increase the heat a little bit to medium, between medium and high. So we are just sauteing our panichi so that we can be able to get a crust texture on the outside. So meanwhile, because there's some things which are going to defry, we make sure our defryer is 170 degrees. So while our pani is is underway, we go to the next item, which is now these are the uh, julienne, nicely sliced. Leaks. Then a small strainer just to defry them. Make sure you keep on stirring, you keep on stirring so that they don't burn or stick all together. Always keep an eye to your pani. This is what we normally do, multitasking. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now this is the color. Nicely golden brown, uh, crispy ready to be used. You can return it on the same same bowl. Then you put it aside. Same to our pani. You can see the color. Not black, just lightly golden brown. Crispy. Then so from this, remember earlier we had our homemade masala sauce. Just a tomato base, some Indian spices. 
put like two and a half tablespoon. Make sure your, your pan is sizzling hot. You can add so that the cheese doesn't dry up. Like a half of a tablespoon. So when my cheese is nicely moist, not dry, still crunchy and crispy, then you can put it in a bowl. Then we put it aside. We take a short break on Tupike. We will be right back. Welcome back to Tupike. You can still improvise with the same pan. Just to wipe off all the, uh, the excess masala sauce to make sure our pan is fine and then we reduce the heat. So the next thing we are doing is now the chapati which we are going to use it to make the roll. So we start on a hot pan, reduce the heat. Make sure your pan is not that too much hot because of the butter. So the butter will burn and then turn black. And then the taste of your, your food item will change. A tablespoon will be fine for the butter. Spread it out. Then take your chapati. Just leave it for a minute, a minute or so, for five seconds or 60 seconds. Meanwhile, you take your eggs, just like a normal, when you're making a normal omelette, break the two eggs, pinch of salt. Yeah. And then you just mix vigorously. So that is done. Nicely cooked. Just a little bit of butter. So when our chapati is cooked on both sides, we will set it aside just for a minute. At meanwhile, as we start cooking our bread. Remember, we still have butter. The pan is still greasy. So need, no need to add more more butter or cooking oil. And make sure it's all spread out. Make sure your egg doesn't stick on the pan. Then you take your chapati. Then we flip over. So our next item will be the baby spinach. Like I said earlier, if you don't have baby spinach, you can use whole spinach. You can blanch them. And then after blanching them, you can just lightly saute them with either butter or ghee. So for a baby spinach, you're going just to lightly wilt them with butter. Just lightly, so that we retain the color and the texture. And also, we don't tamper with the taste. So once our pan is hot, we 
you take the baby spinach. Just lightly, lightly, lightly wilting them so that they don't overcook. Remember, they're just baby spinach. You can as well as have them raw. But in our case, we just will them lightly. And then we are good to go. 30 seconds, even less is enough. This is how it's supposed to look like, still green. Still looking fresh. Then after flipping it up, now this is the fun part, because now we are building up our, our casserole. So we start with the masala sauce. We spread it out. We go with the cheese. Spread it out evenly. We take our vegetable, the baby spinach, nicely wetted. Our crispy leeks, which have been defried. Also, guys, if you don't have a defryer, remember you can just lightly saute them in a pan. Saute in the pan. Then, lastly, we are doing our fresh kachumbari, spicy kachumbari, just to add some freshness. Then we roll it, just be careful. Now our kathi roll is ready to be served. You can see our chapati nicely golden brown. You can feel the sizzling, that is from the sauce. Then we put it aside. Then remember the number of guests that you have. It depends, yeah? So you can cut it into a half, you can cut it into three times. For instance, we have two guests, so you're going to cut it into half. Ah. Nicely stuffed, nicely rolled. You can see it is still moist inside. You can see the, the kachumbari. Then ready to be served. Just take one. You can use a tray, you can use a, a, a dinner plate. Then after that, remember we always serve extra for our guests. So we love kachumbari extra. Side. We love our in-house tamarind chutney. Just some tamarind, dates, some chili flakes, some garlic, You can see the consistency nice. So this is like our base sauce, where you can dip or even put on top. Then we have our dal. So we, we warm our dal, which we make it from our Indian spices, the garam spices, cumin, some ginger garlic, So we just make sure that we have a little bit of butter. Always make sure that your pan is not that too much hot, too hot, just to avoid the butter to burn out. Then you, you just warm our dal. 
Always make sure it's moist. Easy to digest, easy to, to eat. We can reduce the heat a little bit. Then again we test. Test, 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 test. Mm. Mm. I love this dish. Hot enough to be served. Just aside. Nicely served. A full dish of kathi roll. Remember guys, the same thing depending. This is portion for two people or even three. You can have as many as you want, depending on the quantity that you've prepared. So this is our kathi roll guys. Ready to be served. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, I'm Chef Spira from the Siloko Nairobi Street Kitchen. Hope you've enjoyed the show. You learn something, come enjoy the best Indian street food in Nairobi. Till we meet again, bye!